G'day guys, before using your new handheld, it's important to back up the stock SD card and store it somewhere safe, and then use a fresh high quality SD card for the unit. Here's a few real life examples of stock SD cards failing. One symptom of a failing SD card is corrupted save states. Here we have Mega Man X1, and the ROM works perfectly fine, however if we go to load one of the old save states, it does load it, the music plays briefly, and then the system locks up. You might also notice ROMs not loading at all. For example here we have a Game Boy Advance video of Blade Runner, which just gets stuck on loading. This ROM used to work perfectly fine up until about a week ago. When bringing up the menu it does still work, but we do get some weird infinity effects. There also appears to be some corrupted blocks on my SD card, since scrolling down on the favourites ROMs list does completely lock up the system. Over on my R36S now, the stock SD card has completely failed. The system no longer boots. Putting the corrupted R36S SD card into a computer shows it's completely missing its partition table. This is sometimes recoverable, but not really worth the effort since it will just fail again. The low quality stock SD cards do still have a use though, so don't throw them in the bin. I recommend keeping them in the original box your handheld came in, just in case you need to access any of the files on them, although hopefully you should already have a full backup. If instead you don't want to keep the stock SD card for emergencies, I have found them useful for transferring files between old computers using cheap USB micro SD card adapters. This little blue one on the left is around the same size as a wireless mouse receiver, and they only go for around $1.50 to $2 Australian. I'm not affiliated with Samsung in any way, but I personally use the Evo Plus range in all of my devices. They have decent read and write speeds, I've found them to be very reliable in everything I've tested them in, but most importantly, they often go on sale for very cheap. I paid $7 Australian for the 64 gig SD cards during Black Friday sale, and about $13 for the 128 gig cards. The regular retail prices are fairly high, so I do recommend waiting for a sale. Also be aware there are a lot of fakes online, and it's very hard to tell if you're getting a genuine product that's going to last. For this reason, I always buy from the local big box stores in Australia. Officeworks, JB Hi-Fi, or in this case, Harvey Norman. I have made a short video testing the speeds of the Samsung 64GB EVO Plus range. Hopefully you can see the importance of backing up and swapping out the stock SD card as soon as possible. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.